Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video and over the next several videos, I'll be demonstrating many of the new and improved features in Isotope RX-8. Now, if you're not familiar with RX and what it's used for, RX is an audio restoration and audio repair suite that allows you to clean up bad recordings, uh, clean up old recordings, and even maybe show some love to good recordings that just need some special attention. So RX is incredibly helpful for making recordings sound the absolute best that they possibly can be. And this can be used for musical recordings. It can be used for uh, content creators, podcasting. Today, I'm gonna show you how it can be used for cleaning up video conferencing audio. And it's also great for professional post-production work for film and video. In this video, I specifically wanna show you how to recover band-limited voice recordings using the new Spectral Recovery module in RX-8. So this is brand new to RX-8. Now what this module does is it allows you to recover high frequency content that might be lost in band limited recording. So what's a band limited recording? Well, typically if the recording was captured using like a video conferencing software, a phone, Skype, Zoom, uh, anything like that, the audio quality will have a noticeable high end roll off. Um, or maybe you're working with some older quality MP3s or some old recordings and you want to recover that high end. That's exactly what this is perfect for. So I have a um, just a video conference uh, demo here. I just basically used my phone to record my face and uh, talk into the phone, not using any sort of external mic or anything else like that. So let's see what this sounds like as is. So this is just a quick video recording, uh, video conference recording that I've made on my phone. You can hear that the audio quality is not great. It's uh, heavily band limited, so you're not hearing a lot of the uh, upper frequencies of the recording. Okay, so there's a lot of issues with this, not just you know the fact that it's a band limited recording, and you can see that here in the analysis and um, in the spectral analysis as well here. You can see all this black at the top is where uh, the high frequency ends. It ends at around 8,000 hertz, so we're missing all this upper spectral content. And especially nowadays with COVID-19 and people doing more and more things from home and conferencing from home and doing interviews and things like that from home, being able to spectrally repair a video conferenced recording or a phone recording or a phone interview, anything like that is, is really, really helpful uh, to bring it up to a quality standard that's going to be much better than, you know, the initial uh, the initial audio recording. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to select all pull up my spectral recovery uh, tool here. And the great thing about this, I love it. I mean, there's different presets, but the great thing about this is there's this learn feature. So you just click the learn button and it determines where the uh, cutoff is, where the roll off is. And then you can just click preview to hear the fixed recording, the spectrally recovered recording. I'm actually going to click re uh, render here to render the whole thing in place because using my video capture and RX-8 at the same time doesn't work so great. But you can see now all these spectral peaks up here. We have high frequency content that's been added and recovered in our recording. So this is just a quick video recording, uh, video conference recording that I've made on my phone. You can hear that the audio quality is not great. It's uh, heavily band limited, so you're not hearing a lot of the uh, upper frequencies of the recording. Now, in a lot of situations, you may find yourself wanting to use two or more modules to get the desired result. Um, two other things I can think of here in this recording that need to be fixed are the uh, background noise from the AC, and I might also want to reduce the reverb of the room. So the next thing I'm gonna use is the spectral denoise module. This is not new, this was available in previous versions of RX. And what you can do with this is you can find an exposed area of your recording where there's just background noise, and you can click learn, and this learns the noise profile of that area. Then I'll just select all. You can click preview if you like, but you know, for demonstration purposes for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and render this, and let's give this a play. So this is just a quick video recording, uh, video conference 
recording that I've made on my phone, you can hear that the audio quality is not great. It's uh, heavily band limited, so you're not hearing a lot of the uh, upper frequencies of the recording. Yeah, all that extra background noise from the AC is gone. And there's one more thing I want to do. Like I said, I want to get rid of the uh, room reverb. So there's two different reverb modules. There's a D reverb module, but then there's also a dialogue D reverb module. I'm going to use this one in instead since it's specifically for dialogue. And I'm just going to select a preset that's called dialogue clarity. I'll click render and let's give that a shot. So this is just a quick video recording, uh, video conference recording that I've made on my phone. You can hear that the audio quality is not great. It's uh, heavily band limited, so you're not hearing a lot of the... It's a bit strong in my opinion, so I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna pull the reduction up a bit. And again, you could do this in real time with preview. Um, you don't have to do it like I'm doing. So this is just a quick video recording. Uh... Yeah, if I pull up the reduction a bit more, you're still hearing some more of the ambience in the background, uh, but the problem is if you do this too much, it can start to destroy the tone of the voice, um, particularly the high end that we just uh, spent time recovering. So I'm gonna use a softer setting for this. So this is just a quick video recording, uh, video conference recording that I've made on my phone. You can hear that the audio quality is not great. It's uh, heavily band limited, so you're not hearing a lot of the uh, upper frequencies of the recording. Yeah, so now I think I have kind of a good starting point where I can go and maybe add some EQ to this as well. There's an, a built-in EQ module, and in particular, I think I'm going to kind of boost the low end on my voice to uh, give it a bit more body. So this is just a quick video recording, uh, video conference recording that I've made on my phone. You can hear that the audio quality is not great. It's uh, heavily band limited, so you're not hearing a lot of the... Uh, upper frequencies of the recording. So that's how you can repair video conference dialogue, old recordings, old MP3s, phone recordings, and other band limited recordings using the new spectral recovery tool, along with some other existing tools in Isotope RX-8. Again, I'm gonna be doing several videos in RX-8 demonstrating different repair and restoration techniques, rather than just doing a one hour long overview of RX-8. So stay tuned for those new videos. If there's anything in particular that you'd like to see me demonstrate in RX-8, please leave a comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thanks for the support, and thanks for watching.